Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video. Um, bear with me as I try to figure out the lighting in my new house. I have like three small windows in the whole place total. And so there's different times of the day that I can film and it looks good. And then there's other parts of the day where it's like, that does not look good at all. And this is one of those moments where it does not look good at all. And I'm thinking about investing in some um, studio equipment, but until then, I'm just gonna be making videos. At times, I'm gonna try my hardest to make videos. So today I started thinking, and usually when I start thinking, I start thinking a lot. And I start thinking about everything in my past, and my future, and my present. And the subject of people who aren't parents, but try to tell you how to parent, came to mind. And um, this is something that I've never really talked about in a video before, but like whenever I talk to women about it, or mothers about it, it's always something that kind of irks us, and we never really say anything. And I thought maybe making a video about it, and from a mother's perspective would help somebody who's not a mom or a dad or even a parent or whatever would help them understand how some of the things that they're trying to say to us to be helpful aren't really helpful at all now before i became a mom i was extremely judgmental i'll be the first to say that um i remember one time in particular we were at a disney cruise with david's family and his brother and sister-in-law started changing um their son's diaper in the middle of the beach. He had gone number two and the bathroom was, I mean, it was a while away. It wasn't too far, but I mean, it was a walking distance for sure. And I remember them just placing him down on like a sun chair and like just quickly changing his diaper and like throwing the diaper away. And I was just like, oh, that's disgusting. I think my other sister-in-law said something like that too. Like, oh, how, how gross is that? And they were just like, wait until you have kids. And they said that straight at us. And we were like, We'll never do that if we have kids. There were so many things that I was like that with. I would watch parents do things and I was like, what they're doing is wrong, or they're not doing it right, or I would do that differently. And then I became a mom and everything changed. One of the main things that really has been rubbing me the wrong way is I'm still nursing Eden. She's 14 months old and um, we do not nurse all day long. I mean, she eats solids and she's a really good eater. She eats a lot, but she still loves to nurse and not just for comfort, but also just to eat. I get comments all the time like, oh, you better wean her off. Oh, you better be careful because she's gonna want your boobs for us to her life. You know, stuff like that. And sometimes it comes from moms who have experience and they've been through it before. And for most of the time I can just talk to them and be like, it's what matters to me and David and that's that. And they'll be like, okay, yeah, I understand. But it's the ones who aren't mothers, <laughs> I, I will say something like that too. And they'll just straight up be like, yeah, you better not be one of those parents. You better not have one of those kids. You know what they say about kids who get breastfed after a year. There's no nutrition. I don't know. You may be trying to come across as helpful or informative, but really it's just kind of like a diss to the mom that you're talking to. When people tell me that me nursing Eden past a year is wrong of me or selfish of me, it makes me think about it and I'm like, how can nursing my baby be selfish? Like all I want to do is give her the right start at life and to have that connection and bond with her, it's something that I cherish and I love it, you know? And some days it's hard, but for the most part, I absolutely love it. And so I'm, when I have people telling me that stuff, it makes me think about it. This person's not even a mom and they're trying to tell me how to parent my child and it frustrates me, but I realized that I was the exact same way. I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of the judgment that happens between moms, let alone people who aren't even mothers trying to tell us how to live our lives. Now granted, there are a lot of women out there who work in daycares or nurseries or have worked with kids their whole life. Maybe they have a degree in early childhood education. That's fantastic. Guess what? I was a nanny. I grew up in a childcare home. My mom did licensed childcare from the time I was two years old. And I have experience with kids too. But once you become a mom, it's different. Every experience is different. Every thought is different. You just change. When I was looking into places to have my daughter, I consistently wanted a natural birth. I read all the books in the entire world. I talked to everybody who's ever had a natural birth. I was extremely prepared, but I had no idea what was gonna follow for me. In a way, I feel like God was trying to teach me something by having such a long labor and delivery and ended up having to have a C-section, which is the furthest thing from natural. I think he was just trying to teach me like, hey, you're not in control, I am and you don't know all the answers, I do. You can be the most informed about something in the entire world. You can read all the books, you can know everything. But once you have a kid, it's just different, it is. And you can ask any mom that. I never intended to co-sleep past 
a year or even in general i was thinking like maybe like the first four months and then we put her in her crib that didn't work out for us i never intended to even breastfeed over nine months nine months was my goal and i was like once i make it to nine months i'm good i'm done at the end well then it went to a year and now it's 14 months and i'm perfectly fine with it and i have no intention of stopping anytime soon as far as nursing goes if you're somebody out there who doesn't have kids and you try to give mother's advice let me just tell you that it's not really something that you can say that you have done. It's like me trying to tell mountain climbers how to climb a mountain when I've only been on flatlands my whole life. Does that make sense? When you're a mother, you're already in it. You're already experiencing it. Me, I already know what's going on in my life. I'm experiencing things with Eden every single day. I don't know everything, but I know what I'm experiencing on the present. And when somebody who's not a mom comes up to me and tries to tell me how to be a mom, with, which is something they've never experienced before, they may think they have because they work at a daycare center or because, you know, whatever reason, they love kids. But they're not a mom and they're trying to tell you how to be a mom. I know some of you are doing it with the best intentions possible, but sometimes it comes across as not that way. It comes across as more judgmental and um, it's hurtful sometimes, it really is. I don't wanna go into like a whole spiel about it. I just wanted to make a quick video about it because I think that we as moms should stop judging each other, period. Like if you're a formula feeding mom, good for you. If you're a breastfeeding mom, good for you. Motherhood is extremely, 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 did I say extremely enough? It's hard. Every kid is different and you're kind of just thrown into the situation where you have to like be a mother and you have no idea what the heck you're doing and everybody's trying to give you advice and you're just trying to figure it out and you're just trying to stay afloat. I commend you for that. No matter what kind of mom you are. Maybe you sleep next to your child. Maybe your child cries it out. Whatever works for your family, that's fantastic. I think we should lay off of other moms and stop giving our advice about everything. I think it's cool to inform people. I don't think it's cool to judge people though or to like put things on people and make them feel bad about themselves and I have honestly felt that way by some women who have never had kids trying to tell me how to parent my child. It goes from being like informative or whatever to hurtful. So just keep that in mind if you're a woman who's patiently waiting to be a mom or where you're a young girl and you're trying to give mom's advice. Like I said, it's nice to have a conversation. It's nice to inform them of something, like maybe you read an article about something you wanna inform them, but watch your tone and just watch the way you say it. Moms are already really emotional as it is. We don't get sleep, but we don't get that much sleep. Um, we feel like we're trying really hard and you know, a lot of us feel like we're failing on a daily basis um, just because our kids are acting a certain way or whatever. Just keep that in mind that it's hard and we already feel like we're doing a lot. So just try to encourage the next woman that you see that's a mom instead of trying to like bicker at her, tell her what to do. Like I said, I was really guilty of this and now uh, my life has changed and I've had women that tried to tell me what to do and they became moms and I actually had one of my friends apologize to me when she became a mom and said, I'm so sorry, I didn't realize that you know, this is what worked best for my family and I'm sorry for judging you for it, but you were right and it worked for me as well. So thank you, you know? I think we need more of that. So anyway, that's the end. That's the end of the video. <laughs> if you agree with anything I said, write it down below. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and like it, thumbs it up, and we will see you in our next video. Thanks for watching, bye.